Hello everyone, it's me, Nikki, and today I'm here with a TBR video. I know, I said in the last one I wasn't going to do any readathons, but I found two, and I can't help myself. So, they sound fun. So, the first one is called the Mythothon. This is round three. And it is about, um, Celtic mythology. Um, and they are, the prompts are based upon the tale of, oh, I heard this push Pendagdafid. Do not, I will link it below because that's never going to get pronounced. Um, so you follow the prompts, it's like a little, tr um, like it follows his story, so. Um, the prince is out hunting, this is the first prompt, and becomes separated from his companions. He stumbles across a pack of hounds feeding on a slain stag and takes the kill for his own. Read a book with an animal on the cover or in the title. And I shall be reading um, The Ring of Five Dragons. There's an animal right there. I think it's supposed to be like, a, is it a red raccoon? But it's obviously a fantasy animal. A lot of these, thankfully, I was able to get to work from um, the books that I wanted to read for September anyway. So yay me. Um, the second prompt, this earns, the second prompt is, I was going to read the thing, but no, uh, read a book featuring the fae or some other supernatural element. Mm. Mm. I've made the pile too big. Just put it down here. Oh, Lord, don't fall. And I will be reading... The Veil of a Thousand Tears, which is the second. And the supernatural element is the goddess that has uh, attached itself to our main character. And the third prompt is to read a book featuring a rivalry. And I will be reading the Six Wives. I, I always want to say eight, but no. The Six Wives of Henry VIII. That's a massive rivalry if I ever met one. Put that there. Read a book. Prompt number four. Uh, featuring uh, a friendship or with serious squad goals. And I shall be reading Red Right Hand. Um, this is about Charlie Tristan Moore, who um, is trying to rescue her friend Daniel. Um, a third, the next, I don't know what prompt this is, is to read a book from a trilogy. And guess what? Mistress of the Pearl is the last in the Bring of the Five Dragons trilogy, so lucky me! Now, let me put these hardbacks down, because otherwise they're just going to make the whole place fall. This next one ooh, was really hard. I had to find... It's to read a book with food on the cover or in the title. And I found... Uh, the Jungle Books by Rudyard Kipling. There are some tomatoes or something right there. And I'm like, that's, that's as good as we're going to get, my friends. Um, the next one is to read a book that you already own. And I thought if I was going to do the Barnes & Noble classics, I would go with Tarzan of the Apes by Edgar Rice Burroughs. And I think 
Because the Jungle Books, there's two books. The Jungle Book and the second Jungle Book. Um, and I believe this one is just... Yeah, this is just Tarzan. Um, read a book written by a female author. And again, I'm sort of going classic. I'm going to read The Scarlet Pimpernel by Baroness or... Or is that a C? Or C? Um, so, and this is like one of the first <sighs> spy type of things. So that's going to be fun. Um, read a book with a beautiful cover. And I'm picking The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu. Look. Look at the cover. It's gorgeous. Um, the next one is to read a book featuring mental health representation. This one was also a little hard for me. Um, I don't think I have a lot of books featuring mental health representation. So I've picked um, The Apothecary Rose because there's obsession and unholy love. I mean, it's not good representation, but it's it's there question mark and the last one is to read a book featuring royalty and i shall be reading the life of elizabeth the first because if she's not royal i don't know what is so i'm excited for that now i have to put all these books back in uh, a semblance of order oh, fuck. And I'm hoping for the other readathon that I can work these in there too. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's it. I will make sure to link um, the Twitter and uh, they're using a website with all the prompts. So I will make sure to link those down below so thank you very much for watching i'm sorry i'm a terrible horrible liar and i will see you in the next video oh i didn't tell you to have a good day i hope you have a good day i hope you're having a great day i'll see you next time goodbye